welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, we are doing something a little bit different. Today, I thought I would hit you guys with a beauty related video. It is no secret that I'm a huge fan of anything Korean, skincare, makeup, music, honestly everything. And that's what today's video is about. Today, we are gonna be doing a haul of all things K-beauty. I've got a bunch of skincare as well as makeup to try out for you guys on camera. And this is the look that I've created using them. Just so you guys know, this video is very kindly sponsored by Olive Young. If you guys don't know what Olive Young is, it's basically a massive retailer of cosmetics in South Korea. They actually have physical stores, which I would love to visit one day if I ever am lucky enough to go to South Korea. But for now, we're gonna be shopping on the online website, which you can shop at worldwide. On Olive Young, you can actually shop over 130 K-beauty brands. Olive Young only deals with actual authentic Korean brands. But the thing that I actually really like about Olive Young is the fact that it actually shows you all the trending kind of brands that are in the Western kind of world, but also the brands that are trending in Korea. These are Korean brands that may not be as known, but they're still so good. So this website is really good for finding new brands and discovering new products that you may not have found otherwise on your side of the world. Also, they do this really cool thing every year called Olive Young Awards. You can find out more about that on the Festa event page on their website, but basically what they do is they will collect every single product that has been purchased over the year. And based on all that sales data, they pretty much make a list of like the best products ever. So I feel like that's really interesting. That's a really good way to find the number one Korean products. So now that you know a little bit more about Olive Young, let's crack on into the goods. Honestly, there is some gems in here that I've just discovered and I cannot wait to share them with you guys. All right, so diving into the box, we're gonna be starting out with some skincare first. I absolutely love Korean skincare through and through. I feel like the ingredients are always really good. They've always got a really high percentage of the active ingredients that you actually want in the products. So I am really, really happy that I got quite a few. First up, we have the Manio Pure Cleansing Oil. This is what the packaging looks like. Very, very clean. I like it. The formula of this is really light and fresh. Even though it's an oil, it's not too like oily, if that makes any sense. This is not the type of formula of a cleansing oil that would clog up my pores. It's not really thick. The ingredients of this are soap wort, plant-derived olive, jojoba seed, argan oils, fermented rice, camellia oil. So very, very mild and calming ingredients. I have to say I really enjoyed using this and I really liked how fresh and clean my skin felt after. Moving on to the next product, we have one from Skin Food. Now Skin Food is a very popular Korean brand in the Western world. It's actually the first Korean brand I ever used. I think I used their like tea tree foaming face wash when I was like 16. So ever since I've been a huge fan of Skin Food and this is their carrot calming water pads. Essentially what this is is just a little tub of like cotton pads that are just infused with all the goodness. Inside here you get 60 pads. This has B-carotene from carrot seed oil and it's also a vegan formula which is great. So after cleansing what it says to do is apply one or two of these on either side of your cheeks and just leave them there for like five minutes. You can wipe down your entire face apart from your eye area with these and honestly my skin felt really really good after using them. If you've got dry skin and you need that extra bit of TLC I feel like these are really really awesome at hydrating the skin. Now moving on I picked up a couple of different serums. I feel like I never have enough serums in my skincare routine so I really really wanted to try a bunch of new ones. I'm not going to use them all in one go but obviously I'm going to show you guys what they look like and what they feel like as well. So first up we have this one right here which is from the brand Mijansen. This is actually a hair serum. Let's crack it open. By the way, a lot of the products from this website, all the ingredients and everything on the bag is in Korean, but if you refer back to the Olive Young website, you can see all the information in English. So this is what the packaging looks like. Let's do a little swatch and see what the product feels like in consistency. Ooh, it's very lightweight. It almost feels like water with a slight bit of oil to it. It doesn't feel greasy. It doesn't feel oily and it smells incredible. I cannot describe smells for the life of me, but that smells really good. The next serum I picked up is actually a set of two. So it's the same one, but two of them, which is great if you like the product. This is from a brand called Izoi, and this is a blemish care serum. Personally, I do suffer with quite a lot of blemishes after I have the spots. I have a lot of like acne scarring and just pigmentation that doesn't go away for a long time. So I thought this would be really, really nice to try out. On the website, it says this improves uneven pigmentation, clarifies blemishes and reduces dark spots, brightens and improves uneven 
uneven skin tone hydrates and soothes redness. That is definitely what I need. Once again, the formula of this feels really lightweight. It almost just feels like water. It's also got a really subtle rose scent to it, which isn't very overpowering at all. And now the last serum that I have to show you guys is this one here from the brand called Goodall. This is the one that I actually really want to try out in this video on my face. This is called the Vita C Dark Spot Care Serum. So inside here, you actually get quite a bit. You get 30 ml of the actual serum. You then also get a little travel size one, which is 10 ml, so that's great for traveling with. Right now, I do have some acne scarring that I really, really want to kind of lift up and get rid of the pigmentation, so I thought this would be the best one for that. It's got a very lovely formula. It's very moisturizing. It feels really lightweight and again, watery. There is no stickiness to the formula whatsoever. It just feels really nice and pleasant. Also, it's got a very subtle lemony kind of smell to it. Again, not overpowering. I really don't mind the scents as long as they're like not too crazy. This felt really, really nice on my skin. Obviously, I'm gonna continue using this and I'll let you guys know maybe in the future what I think of it. But as far as first impressions go, this product is really enjoyable to use. Now, moving on to the next product, we have this one right here, which is called the Bioderm Lifting Cream. This is from a brand called Biobo, which I've never heard of this brand before, but the packaging looks really cool. So this comes with a lifting facial cream as well as two lifting ampules, which I'm guessing is like a serum version of the cream. What this claims to do is improve the skin thickness and firmness. It's a super bouncy formula, which is very creamy and lightweight. It's almost like that whipped kind of formula. When I was applying this on my face, it really did feel very moisturizing and very nice to apply. I really like the formula of this so far. Again, time will tell how I get on with this cream because obviously you can't really judge it from just one use, but so far, first impressions, I really like it. Next up, we cannot forget about sunscreen in our beauty regime. Recently, I've been really getting into sunscreen. I really want to protect my skin from harmful sun rays, and I feel like it's just really good practice to apply it every day before your makeup. So I picked up this one right here. This is from the brand called Round Lab. It is said to be one of the top sunscreen moisturizers in Korea right now, so I decided to get it. Now, this is SPF 50 plus, and I really, really like the formula of this. It does kind of leave a white cast at the start, but once you rub it in and it kind of blends into your skin, it's actually okay, and it doesn't leave too much residue behind. So again, first impressions, I really, really like it. I like the way it applied. I like the way it felt on my skin. The formula is nice as far as sunscreen goes. I've tried my fair share of sticky sun creams and never again. <laughs> so now that the skincare is completely done, it's time to move on to the makeup. First up, we're obviously starting out with base. So I have a really exciting cushion foundation to show you guys. This is from the brand Laneige, which honestly, I never even realized they do like actual makeup because the only other product I've ever seen from them is the little sleep masks. I feel like that's what they're mostly known for, but they do actually do other products. So I am really excited to show with you guys the Laneige Cushion Foundation. It has a mirror inside. It's then got the little applicator sponge and then you open it up like this and that is where the product is. This is really cool because you can actually take out this whole section and replace it when you're done. So you can keep the compact and then you just get the inserts for it. I got mine in the shade beige and I really, really like this. It's a very natural finish. It's quite good in coverage, but obviously it's not like your super full coverage foundation. I feel like you could still see my imperfections under through it, but I don't really mind because I usually use concealer anyway. When I first applied this, it did look really, really white on me, but honestly, after a while, the color did oxidize and I feel like it matches my neck really well now. So yeah, this is definitely ending up in my makeup bag for like my everyday kind of makeup. This is really, really good. I definitely recommend trying it. The next product I picked up is a powder. Now this is the Vanilla Co Prime Primer Finish Powder. It's an instant oil and shine control. And honestly, when I tell you, this is one of the best powders I've ever tried. I mean it. Just warning you guys, but this is very, very white. So you do kind of get a little bit of a cast, but I feel like if you dust it away, you're okay. It comes with its own little puff, which is great. And honestly, if you guys have oily skin, I would say just give this a try because I'm quite an oily girl myself. This tea zone gets greasy AF, so this is really, really good to control that. As soon as I apply this to my face, I feel like my pores 
all around my t-zone just became non-existent so this is really good at getting that sort of like in real life photoshopped blurred look now to get some definition back into my face I have this little savior right here this is the too cool for school art class by Rodan this is basically a little bronzer that has three different shades inside it. I feel like this is such a handy little compact. I love the fact that it's got a mirror and these shades are super cool tones. So they're literally meant for contouring. I'm pretty sure the compact I have right here is the darkest one they do. So it doesn't really go that dark, but for me, it's okay. So I just use that to pretty much bronze up my face a little bit on my cheekbones, my nose and my forehead. And I feel like it definitely did the trick. The next item I have is an eyebrow pencil. Now this is from a brand called Clio. And once again, Clio is quite a popular Korean brand in my opinion. I feel like it's kind of become really big on TikTok mainly. I've just been seeing so many people rave about this brand. This is called the Kill Brow Auto Hard Brow Pencil. The fact that this is really cool toned just makes my heart happy. It's got a little brush on one end, which is always useful to like brush through your hairs. And then on the other end, it's got this super precise wind up kind of pencil. I absolutely love a twist up brow pencil. It just means that you don't have to faff around by sharpening it and all that stuff so this was really really good now onto the eyeshadow we are going to be trying out this palette here so this palette is from the brand called it day sick this is the milk latte palette i think they had three different variations the palette inside is literally just like your perfect neutral shades for every day with a little bit of sparkle i think these shades are absolutely stunning for every day they're not too much and those sparkles oh my gosh the formula is amazing they're so creamy there's no fallout when I'm applying them and I just really really got along with this palette. On to eyeliner we have this little beauty right here. This is from a brand called Lily by Red. This is called the AM9 to PM9 Survival Pen Liner. I love that name and honestly this is a really really nice eyeliner. I went for the brown shade because I feel like a lot of Korean makeup looks I've seen recently incorporate a soft brown liner rather than a black and I actually really really like brown eyeliner on me lately. The tip on this eyeliner is so thin. I just love it so much. It's really easy to work with. It's very easy to control and you are getting such high payoff. There is no streakiness in that liner. It's very opaque and I just love it so much. This is literally my new favorite brown eyeliner ever. Now focusing on lashes. First up, I have this little tool here, which is obviously a lash curler. We've seen this before. This is from a brand called Dear Dahlia. And I have to say a lash curler is one of those things that it can be a hit or miss. This one, however, is actually one of the better ones I've ever used, just because I feel like when I was curling my lashes, I wasn't pulling any out, but I could still get really close to the root. I feel like that is why my lashes are still looking pretty good. I feel like my lashes always drop down straight away, no matter how much I curl them. So it just goes to show a good lash curler can definitely make a difference. Now for the lashes, let me introduce you to this mascara here. This is once again from the brand Clio and this is actually a set of two. It's exactly the same mascaras. Again, I'm not really too sure why they do that, but a lot of the time you'll get like a set of two, like of the same product. I mean, I'm not complaining. I really like the mascara. So I mean, two's better than one, right? The reason why I really, really liked this one is because the end on it is so tiny. It's literally like a microscopic wand. Like I don't even know how to describe it. It's just so small compared to like all my usual mascaras I use. I feel I feel like I was really able to get in everywhere, like all the little lashes at the bottom, all the little ones in the corners, and I feel like my lashes look pretty good today. It did take a couple of coats to really build up the layers. I do like my lashes to be quite full, but this gives you more of like that natural kind of vibe. It coats your lashes individually. If you like that kind of vibe, definitely try this out. But if you also like a clumpy lash like me, just build it up with a couple of layers and you'll be fine. And now moving on to the very last product, we have a lip tint. So this is from a brand called Peri Pera. And again, it's quite a famous brand. I feel like because of TikTok, this lip tint is called the Ink Mood Glowy Tint. It's got four grams of product and it's in the shade 03. One thing that I absolutely love about like K-pop stars and Korean influencers and stuff like that is that they always have the perfect lip stain. It always just looks so natural and so beautiful and really moisturized. So I really want that for me. I have to 
to say this one is a winner the color on this is so beautiful you can really build it up to like a deep berry red or you can have it a bit more toned down like me i actually applied it and then i patted some away just to get a little bit more of a, like a stain vibe rather than a full-on lipstick also this smells really nice it kind of has like a hint of vanilla and it's so moisturizing my lips feel so juicy with this on all right guys so those were all of the products being put to the test on my face i'm honestly obsessed with this whole look and i feel like i found my new favorite products for my everyday makeup routine in this video. Let me know which product was your favorite. I'll have all the links in the description so you guys can check them out for yourself. Again, I wanna give a massive shout out to Olive Young. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. I had so much fun trying out these new products. And thanks to you guys for watching. As always, let me know which product was your favorite and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mm.